if you've been attacked by both sides, then you must be doing something right. Well, I'm being, I, yeah, what, what I'm doing right, okay, is telling the truth, and that's just so wonderful for me because 20 years from now, when I'm 80, 75 years old or whatever, you know, you don't have to remember the truth. The truth is always there, okay? And that's why when I told you the other day, day before yesterday, when these lawyers wanted me to lie, yeah. I couldn't do it. For my own, I could have made a lot of money. You know how much money I could have made becoming an expert witness for these people when they were to, had it gone a different way? I chose not to. I never chose to put money above my rights to be able to tell the truth. Yeah. Can, you just so, tell me, can you just tell me about that? The, when, they, when they ask you to lie? Oh, yeah. These lawyers, I mentioned their names. Jack Baldwin, Don Loudon, mm -hmm. Ron Motley, Dickie Scruggs. Yeah. Uh, the, the other guy, I forget, his, there was a couple other. They don't told me, basically, that... Whatever I had to say, just tell the truth, and if you have to embellish it, go ahead, because nobody will ever know. And where was this? I was, oh, this was Ron Motley down at Ness Motley, uh, down in Charleston. For, for, South for depositions. And the, yeah, they were preparing me for the depositions. The other attorney, her name was Jody Flowers. They had me do my program in front of the entire audience so they could see what kind of a, an expert witness I was going to be right. to try to try to get this because they wanted to have the settlement before it went to court. Yep. And every state, including Florida, Mississippi, uh, Texas, and Minnesota, they never had to go to court. It was all done prior, you know, with depositions, mm -hmm. with the threats of this is what we're going to do if you don't settle with us, okay? And I was in every lawsuit. Right. I was in every deposition. And you were, there, and when, you were just going to say the stuff about what you knew about the tobacco marketing practices, how they aimed uh, marketing at children and so on? Yeah, that that kind of that was a standard thing that you would say in these depositions. Well, you know, and I could, and again, like my conversations with you, a lawyer would ask me one question, and the lawyers would prepare me by saying, "Look, and this is a, this is funny, because the one lawyer was mad at me because I just couldn't focus, you know, because I had so much information that I wanted, I had like diarrhea of the mouth, right? You know, and, and they still wasn't enough for them. They still wanted you to just go a little bit further." Even if it wasn't true, yeah, they, want, that they wanted me. They wanted me. Here's what they said to me. They said, "Listen, this is a game of fish. You ever hear a big card game fish? No. Somebody asks you. Somebody asks you for a four. If you have a four in your hand, you give it to them. Somebody asks for right, a queen. Yeah. You don't have one. Yeah. You say go fish. Okay. Uh -huh. So what he told me was, and this was Ron Motley from Ness Motley, one of the billion dollar lawyers. He said, "Listen, you got to shut your mouth." He said, "If they ask you for a four, you give them a four. You don't give them a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, jack, queen, king. Yeah. Because that's what I do. I just don't answer a question. I tell a story. Right, yeah. Okay? Uh, and I'm that's where my... <laughs> <laughs> and that's a problem for lawyers, because they don't want a story. They want the facts, okay? Yep. And for me to tell the facts, there's always a story with those facts, which to me makes it more interesting, yeah. okay? You know? Some context. You know, um, so I had to be prepped. I had to be told by these attorneys that when they ask you a question, you give them what they answer, yes or no, this or that, but you don't add to it, okay, which was a problem for me. Yep. It did say that when you're at the end and you're allowed to speak freely, you add in anything you want to, even if it's a lie. Really? Yes. Yes. Okay? And it wasn't just the one attorney. Yeah, but they were trying what to make What kind of things do you think they, they wanted you to say? Well, they wanted, they wanted... Well, I had mentioned to them that they were doing studies about marketing with colors in malls for kids. Right. In other words, they would, the tobacco company would hire a PR firm, okay? The PR firm would go to a mall, and they would put these machines up in the mall and invite kids over. It was like a car race, like, like, a, like a video game. Mm -hmm. Okay, where well, they would look into this thing and they would be able to push a lever and you could drive a car. And you would have to step on a button or a pedal. When you would see a color red on a billboard right. or a color green or a color, yeah. that, it, it was color boarding. That's what they were doing. They were trying to see which colors they would lies. be most effective yeah. on a billboard to a <clears> child. <throat> mm -hmm. Okay? So that's what they were doing in marketing of. Winston cigarettes, which had a color pattern of red and white and blue. Yeah. Okay? 
Marlboro was just red and white. Yeah. Newport, Newport and Cool was green and white or turquoise and white. So they had a very specific scientific study for coloring, for behavior, for uh, being able to connect quickly what colors are most effective for a child. Okay. And they did it with children, not adults, but children. Mm-hmm. And they wanted, they wanted me to specifically say that they do it for adults. And I said, I, I don't know because there was only children. Well, you have to tell them that it was strictly for kids. Oh, I said, really? well, I can't say that. I can't say that because I don't know if they're going to test growing up. How would I know? I'm not a, I'm not a focus group. I'm not somebody. I'm just telling you what they told me. You know, mm-hmm. so it was always he said, he said, he said. But they didn't care if I embellished it to the point where I just kept it for kids and never mentioned grown ups because they were going after the tobacco industry and their marketing strategies yeah. for tobacco to kids. Now it's new and it's the light cigarettes versus the full flavored cigarettes. Yeah. You know, light c- so I was involved in all of this stuff and my testimony was based on what I was asked to do and I just told them point blank, well, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to make it up. You know, if, if it happened, I'll tell it. If it didn't happen, don't ask me to say something that wasn't there. Don't mm. make me make it look better than it actually was right. for your agenda. 